This is Jazz on the Charles, a walkable concert. Most of our concerts are inside. Um, people come in, they sit in their seats. It's fairly static. There's a certain experience. It's very traditional. Um, so in this case, we wanted to turn things around and instead of sort of changing out the artist on the stage, we're telling the audience to walk to see various stages. So we will have 25 ensembles of various configurations placed on a two-mile loop on the Esplanade. Over 100 musicians, all of them local Bostonians, from high school to the most accomplished professionals. And I think the fun thing is uh, that they will play from an identical set list. So we've given them the set list. It was curated by Ken Field. Uh, it has a real Boston attitude towards it. And we said to the musicians, play it in your own style. But the idea is as an audience member, you get to go at your pace and you might hear the first ensemble, which could be a duo, and the next ensemble could be a Latin-influenced larger ensemble, the next one could be a soloist. And so as you explore, there is going to be sort of a sonic journey, and that's what we want. We really hope people will start to hear the next band, the next ensemble, and keep on walking and enjoy it. Part of the project for us is not just to give the audience something to do. We really wanted to celebrate our history of presenting jazz artists, and we wanted to celebrate the fact that Boston's a great jazz town, has a long history of jazz, has a great jazz community that often gets overlooked, and we wanted to give a chance to showcase that, be they students or seasoned professionals. Just come ready to tap your toes and walk a little bit.
Sunday, September 23rd, 2018. It was a beautiful fall day in Boston as 25 Boston area jazz groups set up strategically spaced sites along the Charles River Esplanade and Lagoon in Boston for Jazz Along the Charles, a live music event produced by the Celebrity Series of Boston. The free event attracted a crowd of over 10,000 people, an affirmation of the continued appeal of jazz music to a wide-ranging audience. The bands all started simultaneously at 2 p.m., producing an oral study of the many ways a piece of music can be interpreted. Ensembles were chosen from a large pool of applicants by a panel of noted jazz personalities. The artists represented a diversity of jazz styles and individual cultures, genders, and ethnicities. Tribute to Boston with the song by Morphe.
concept of 25 groups all playing the same songs in the same order was particularly interesting in relation to the improvisation essential to all jazz music. Each group had its own approach to the pieces, leading to a varied and intriguing experience for the audience as they wandered from stage to stage over the course of the afternoon.
Thank you. All right. So one of the reasons why this event has been so good is that it's been also educative for us because we've been introduced to new music. And the music that we are about, the tune that we're about to perform is called Sweet Baby James by James Taylor. Totally new to us. This is our rendition to it.
For the bands, it was an opportunity to perform improvisational jazz outdoors for a large audience on a beautiful fall day. For the audience, it was a unique and joyous celebration of Boston and music powered by the energy of almost 100 area jazz musicians.